Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how we can take advantage of chat GPT to assist, enhance our experience in building flows in Power Automate. It can help us write expressions, build adaptive cards, markdown syntax, HTML formatting styles when sending emails, and in a lot more scenarios. I will also cover in product AI capabilities which leverage GPT-3, wherein we can simply describe our flow in simple text and AI will go ahead and suggest a flow that we can leverage. So let's check it out in action. Creating flows is the foundation of Power Automate. And now you can describe what you want to automate in a sentence and an AI based co-pilot will build your flow in seconds. Just describe it and let AI do the magic. This is an in product capability. You can pick from a wide variety of examples. If you click on view more examples, it will give you additional options to choose from. Currently it supports a standard set of connections. Let's try this out in a real world scenario. I have an Excel file that has a table with customer data, and I would like to import this data into a SharePoint list. I type the flow I need in words, click confirm, and AI provides a suggested flow. I can review the flow suggestion, click next, review the connections that the flow leverages, Click next. I can start configuring the actions within the flow right here. This is an optional step. I recommend directly going to create flow. And this has created the framework that I need for my automation process. All I have to do is connect the dots. The location of my Excel file is OneDrive for business, the library OneDrive. I'll pick my file. This will list out the tables in my Excel file. I'll pick my customer info table. Then for each of the records obtained from my Excel file, go ahead and create the item in my SharePoint list, customer data, title would come from the column first name in my Excel file, last name, I'll map it to last name, age, gender, and that completes my flow. I'll click save. I'll click test and run this flow manually. The flow triggers, connects to my Excel file and starts loading all the data in my SharePoint list. I have a Microsoft form. Users fill out the form. When they hit submit, I would like to send a notification if any user signs up for future volunteering opportunities by saying yes for this specific question. Once again, I describe my flow, click confirm. I'll click create, pick my form. For the response details, I'll pick my form. My condition here is from dynamic content, the response for the question, would you like to sign up for future volunteering opportunities? If this is equal to yes, only then I would like to send in this case, myself an email. I'll put in a subject and in the body, I'll just plug in the responder's email and save my flow. Sarah, a user in my organization, fills out the form, says yes for future volunteering opportunities, submits her response. Here is the email to the admin Reza about the individual who signed up for future volunteering opportunities. Another in-product AI feature is known as format data by examples. Here I have a flow that gets data from a SharePoint list, creates an HTML table and sends all that data out in an email. Now the email that I have received here has the due date in this specific format. I can simply copy an example of the data and in my flow for due date, I will head over to expression and leverage format data by examples. 
Here I can pick dynamic content. I'll pick my due date. I'll provide the example data for this. And here I can plug in what the desired output looks like. Notice as I start typing AI interprets my intention, it gives me some suggested transformations that I can leverage. So I like this one, March 17th, 2022. I'll select this and click get expression. And this will generate a suggested expression. Now I can test this with different values. So I'll provide sample data, click text, and it transforms it perfectly. I'll click apply, and that plugs in my expression, thanks to AI. Once the flow runs, this time the email that I receive has the due date in the desired format. For cloud flows, we have process insights, which allow us to gain insights and improve our flows with the help of process mining. With a single click, you can visualize your flow's performance, identify bottlenecks. Here is an example of one of my approval flows that I enabled process insights for. You can see how it gives me a nice flow chart of each and every action in my flow. It also gives me details around how many times these actions have been called, what is the average duration of these actions, and a lot more useful information. If my approval action is taking a lot of time, flows timeout after 30 days, maybe my approvers are cutting it really close, I could go back and add reminders for approvals. We also have chat GPT. You can consider this as your friend. With chat GPT, we can have conversations in natural language, contextual conversations. Let's begin with learning about Power Automate. What is Power Automate? It's a cloud-based service from Microsoft that allows users to create automated workflows. What are the types of flows? It starts listing out all the different types of flows that are available. Flows and Azure Logic Apps. Probably one of the top questions. What are the best practices in building flows? Using naming conventions, testing, validating, error handling, documenting your flows and more. Any question you have around Power Automate, you can try asking ChatGPT for that. Now let's see how ChatGPT can assist or enhance our experience of creating flows. Let's take a real world scenario. I have a SharePoint list where users would make travel requests. And once the requests come in, I would like to start an approval process. Here, Reza makes a travel request. Now the item is created. I would like to start the flow, set the status to pending, and assign an approval request. I describe my flow, click confirm. Here is the suggested flow. I'll go ahead and click next click next and create my flow. Connect to my SharePoint site and list. Here, it will start the approval process. I'll pick the approval type as first to respond. I'll give the title of the approval, myself as the approver. I've just gone ahead and completed the start and wait for an approval action here with details from my travel request. Right before this, I have added an update item action to set the approval status to pending. In the condition below, I've checked to see the outcome of the approval, and accordingly, I have set the status to approved or rejected. Now let's see what happens when this flow runs, when that item was created. We can see that the flow has triggered as the approval status here has changed to pending. Reza as the approver gets the approval task. If you look at details in general, it supports a language known as Markdown. And Markdown, you would have to learn how it works in order to format the details that you've put out. I'll just go ahead and copy what I have in the details section. I'll say, can you add Markdown for the following? That's the code that I had. It will start adding Markdown syntax to enhance the approval body experience for me. I can simply click copy code. 
go back to my flow and paste the markdown data that I got from ChatGPT. Let's test this out. This time, the approval email, notice the body has the information based upon the markdown syntax that was provided by ChatGPT. The total cost, let's ask ChatGPT how to do that. And ChatGPT provides me the expression. There's a function called add, which allows me to add two numbers. I've changed the text here to total cost. And for the value, I will head over to expression and use that function to add the estimated airfare, comma, estimated hotel cost. And this time when the flow runs, the approval email that I have received has the total cost. Now my approver in this scenario is hard-coded. But let's say I would like to bring my approvers from a SharePoint group. Now for that, if I explore the SharePoint connector, I can leverage the send an HTTP request to SharePoint action. Now this requires me to know the REST API endpoint that I would have to call to get the group members. Let's try see if ChatGPT can help us. I've asked my question and ChatGPT starts providing all the steps. It gives me the API endpoint that I can simply go and copy. The API endpoint, is the endpoint that I just copied, the group name token, I will replace with my group name. And now when this flow will run, this action will output all the information about the users in that SharePoint group. The body of the send an HTTP action has this JSON. And then to get the emails, I'll use the select action from write an expression, body of the name of my action, D results. And from this, I only need email. So I'll use item of email. We can see the output of select in action when the flow runs. Now I need to add that to assigned to, which requires email addresses semicolon separated in the form of a string. I'll plug in my request, convert array to a semicolon separated string, and it starts walking me through the steps. So it says there's an expression function called join that can join an array of data with semicolon. So to try that out here, I'll go to expression, use the join function to join the output of select, which is an array with semicolon. The approval process has started. Sarah being one of the approvers gets the approval task. Let's say Sarah goes ahead and approves this, click submit. And we can see how the approval is complete, goes into the approved side of the branch, and it updates the status to approved, which is what gets reflected in the SharePoint list. I have the flow that sends out data from a SharePoint list in the form of an HTML table in an email. Now this table doesn't have any style associated with it. So I'll say generate style for an HTML table with headers and it will start generating HTML style for us. I can simply go ahead and copy the code, go to my send an email action as I'm an HTML view for the body attribute. I'll paste that style, the flow runs, and this time the table that I receive has the HTML style applied to it thanks to ChatGBD. Get items gets data from my work progress tracker list. And here I would like to apply a filter query, which requires an O data style filter query to only return the data that I need in my output email. I only need data from my SharePoint list where the progress, which is a choice column is in progress. I'll plug in my request and ChatGPT will start formulating that OData query. Here, 
it has generated the filter condition, which is the name of my column equals in progress. I can copy this and plug that filter query condition here. So this time when the flow runs, the email will only include those items from my SharePoint list where the status is in progress. Status is in progress and the percent complete is less than 60. Notice it understands the context, but at the same time, I'm also feeding it relevant information, my column name, my column type. So accordingly, it gives me the information. I'll copy this, plug that expression here. I'll plug in the actual name of my SharePoint column. This time when the flow runs, I get only two items because those are the items that are in progress and percent complete is less than 60. Adaptive cards. In Power Automate, we have the ability to post these rich UI-like cards in Microsoft Teams. Adaptive cards has a specific schema associated with it. Let's try taking help from ChatGPT. I'll say create an adaptive card to post a happy birthday message to Teams and ChatGPT starts framing the adaptive card JSON for me. I'll go ahead and copy the JSON code, go back to my flow and paste that code in the adaptive card JSON. Let's run this. And here is the adaptive card that it has posted. In writing expressions related to trigger conditions, Trigger conditions allow us to trigger our flows conditionally. Let's test it out. Trigger condition formula for SharePoint text column contains text. And it's gone ahead and given the exact trigger condition for it. Go ahead, copy, go to my flow, go to the trigger action, go to settings. Right here is trigger conditions. I can paste that in. In my case, my text column is the title column. Title contains the text important. I'll click save. So I've added a couple of items. One contains the text important, the other one does not. Based on the trigger condition that I just added, notice how my flow just ran once. Let's try another one. Content type name is project document. Trigger a flow when a new folder is created. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.